Today is the conclusion of the Rubicon Stubby Bumper Edition to my wife's Jeep JL. Now this bumper should fit on the Jeep Gladiator as well. Well, good afternoon everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Hey, today we are going to put a brand new bumper on the Jeep JL back there. You guys can see it's kind of missing something right now. And what we've got is actually right over here. You can see a comparison between the old bumper and the new bumper up there. This is a stubby bumper and it will have a little ring thing which we're going to unbox here very quickly. It just came today. Great timing. But we're going to replace the old uh, OEM bumper with this stubby Mopar bumper. Now if you want to see how to remove this bumper or the air dam and the um, little panel fillers up underneath the fenders. I'll have links to those videos down below. You can check that out as well. Okay, we've got the little ring part that came. Krista is going to unbox that right now. So go ahead and pull that thing out of there. The ring part is also known as a grill guard. A grill guard. There you go. <laughs> Let's get the grill guard open. Don't cut yourself. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, directions. Ooh, bolts. Is that it? That's it. Everything else? Okay, so what did it come with? So you've got four. Nice new shiny bolts with a little Loctite on them. That's yeah, cool. That's cool. And some instructions. Some instructions. Hopefully it's the right one. I oh, took yeah. a little guess at that. Shouldn't have. Guessing? No, it wasn't clear. But I think it is. There it is. That is the, what'd you call this? Grill guard? Grill guard. Okay. We've got the bumper up here in the new guard. Mm -hmm. uh, it calls for a T45 uh, Torx bit. We don't have a T45. <laughs> we have a T40. Mm. Hope it works. Cross fingers. And I'm going to use the ratchet or the impact to do this because... Yeah, yeah, there's screws on the bumper that need to come off. It's looking pretty cool. You like it, do you? Yep. They've got all kinds of grill guards on the market. Some of them are really tall, kind of rectangular, and some of them stick straight out, and some of them stick straight up. And I was kind of liking the lower profile. And it's got a good width on it. You could attach lights to it. You could do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So I'm... Uh, Um, did you reuse? You're supposed to use these. Oh. You're supposed to use these ones, not the existing. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> and action. Take two. So we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. Yeah, now we got the, the right, right hoochies there. on there. I'm only going to snug these. We're going to get a T45 bit so we have the right bit. Yes. I don't want to strip them because I'm slipping around in there. This will get them tight enough for now. And worst case, we have extras. All right, so that snugs them. I'll get a T45 bit, the right bit. And we'll and, get that uh, straightened out. We'll straighten them out. See, I want you to hold it up a little bit so we can see what it looks like. Okay. Just made it even heavier. That's what it looks like. Yep. For what it's worth. Awesome. Awesome. It's out of the way before I 
Something. Awesome. Perfect. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can't get this thing off the Jeep. Uh, it is heavy. How are you? The old curling days. Hmm. <laughs> Look at those muscles. Yeah. So big they're gonna pop right out of my arm. <laughs> It does help having this bar on it, I'll tell you that. All right, I'm holding my breath. Let's do the bump. Wow. Are bump. those, did those clips catch? I don't know. Yeah. They did? It'll pull forward a little bit when I tighten it on. Right. Yeah, it looks good. Now I need you to take a break from the camera because we're going to go ahead and see about putting this on. I know what those other screws are going to be used for. Um, let's go ahead. We'll get this up. I'm going to put the bolts on the back or the nuts rather um, to secure this. So we're going to raise it up in the air, but you guys can see that's how it goes on. And next, we'll uh, get the bolts on the back to secure it to the Jeep so that it doesn't fall off. Yeah. And then we'll uh, come back on and show you the finished product. A couple more steps. Okay. All right, we've got all the bumper bolts on, or nuts. Uh, so now we have to put this little cross member brace, I guess it is, back on. So, again, that thing just kind of slides in here. Snug it down by hand, of course. There. Now, you have to decide, do you want the guard back on here? Hmm. It's time. What would you do? It's up to you. I don't know, but while you're thinking about that, why don't you come on over this way? We gotta go ahead and hook the fog light back up. Uh, so, down here is what came with the new bumper, and then we have the old one up above here. Can't see anything. Which I'm gonna see if I can't snap back in. Here we go. Ah, hopefully you guys heard the snap, and then there's a little plug back in there we plug it into, and that's it. So, this does have LED fog lights on it by the way. Mm. Okay, it's all done, it's outside, it's time for the big reveal. Yeah? Mm. Here you go, this is what it looks like. This is the Rubicon, I believe. Isn't that what this is? It's the Mopar. The Mopar. Rubicon. Rubicon. Bumper without the end caps. Which stubby. Say stubby. Bumper. What do you think? Give you a side view. What do you think? Any good? Yes? No? Awesome. Better than that one? You like it? Oh, I love it. That's perfect. Awesome. That is perfect. I think it looks cool. It. The install was uh, really pretty simple. I only had one little minor injury, um, but that was after I was completely done. So I got gnats out of here now. Now we do that. Bees, gnats, you name it, we've got it. Anyway, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. I like it. I think it looks good. I love she seems it. to love it. I so love it. I think we're all golden. Perfect. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. On the web. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.